everyone and welcome. A while back, I did a review of a cheap underhood work light, but that light had a few limitations. So in my continued effort to bring you guys the best lights possible, I continued looking for an even better light. After looking around a bit, I came across a light from a company that I've already dealt with before. I found that Next LED actually had a standalone handheld light that works great as an underhood work light. This light has multiple uses and it's really affordable, so I decided to review this puppy. I think this light has great potential as a handheld light, an underhood work light, and a leak detection light. So let's unbox this puppy and see what I got. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce a new product review video or DIY video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Here's a shot of the box for you, and let's open this puppy up. Alright guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now this is a 2-in-1 LED and UV light from Next LED, available on Amazon, link in description below. Now at the time of making this video, this light retails for $36.99. And if I do come across any coupons or discounts or anything like that, I'll be sure to put them in the description down below, so check that out first before you do anything. Now what you get in the package is you get the light itself, you get a USB-C charging cable, and you get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the light, how to maintain it, charge it, all that kind of good stuff. I suggest you read through that. Now the light itself is very compact and very convenient. You're talking 17 inches in length and only one and a half inches in thickness. It only weighs 0.9 pounds, so not even a full pound. And this unit comes with a full one year warranty. Now this puppy is powered by a 3.7 volt, 4,000 milliamp lithium ion rechargeable battery. It's internal, it's not removable. You don't need to take it out or anything. Just charge it up with the USB cable and you'll be fine. Now the charging time on this depends on what you're hooking it up to. USB-C means you can charge it up faster than a standard micro USB. So it'll take anywhere from two to four hours depending on what you're using. Now this unit is powered by a 15 watt LED cob. And it does come with three different light modes. You have high, which puts out 1000 lumens and that'll run for about two and a half hours. Medium is 500 lumens and that'll run up to five hours and the UV light is 395 nanometers. UV comes in really, really handy when looking for leaks and stuff like that, and I'll talk about that and demonstrate that a little bit later on. Now this light has a nice rubbery overmold, which is very convenient in case you have dirty, sweaty hands, oily hands, whatever, this will make it easy for you to hold and it won't slip out of your hands. It has two hanging hooks, one on each end, you can see one right there, and you can see one on this side. Now the top one is not removable, it stays there all the time. The bottom one is removable and you can put it on any position that you want. Now the convenient thing about this light is that the hanging hooks help you to hang it up. As you can see, they work as a hook, but you can see that they're shaped a little bit differently, which makes them very convenient as a stand. Means they tuck away right under the light very conveniently and you can position it so it won't roll around. So obviously you try to roll it and if I force it, I can roll it. But you see, it normally does not roll. And you can use it to angle the light in any direction you want and it'll stay in that position when you're using it for different lighting projects. So in that respect, it's very convenient. And that's one of the things to point out that when you're looking at Amazon and you read the comments, you have to kind of take the comments with a grain of salt. Because I looked at the Amazon page and I saw this comment that said that the light would not stay where you put it. It would just roll around. That guy either doesn't know what he's talking about or doesn't know how to use the light properly. Because as you see, these hooks work as stands very, very conveniently and they stay right where you put it. If you purposely push it, obviously it's gonna roll. It's not that heavy, nothing is gonna resist that. But if you put it down properly, as you see, I have it angled any position I want, and it stays where I put it. And on top of that, the light has little indentations on it that square it off or make it hexagonal, octagonal, whatever shape that is, and basically keep it from rolling around. It's in the middle here as well, and it's at the end here as well. So it keeps the light from rolling around. It makes it very stationary when you put it on the ground and you're having it point up or sideways to whatever it is that you're working on. 
Now the operating temperature on this light is from 23 degrees Fahrenheit to 118 degrees Fahrenheit. So this light is fantastic for automotive work, maintenance, industrial work, household use, emergencies as a shop light, as a drop light, for a leak detection, all that kind of good stuff. So let's take a look at some automotive functions and see how well this light performs. Now you can see it right there. If you're working under the dash of your car, how conveniently this light fits in the footwell of your car. It's very compact and it's stationary, fits exactly where you put it and where you aim it. And you can work right under the dash of your car without any trouble whatsoever. And there you can see how convenient the light is when you hang it under the hood of your car using the included hooks that come with it. And the light is turned off right now. I can turn it on by simply pushing the button back here and there you go. That's a thousand lumens of light right now. Let me pan down and I'll show you exactly how that looks. Okay, there we are looking at the engine bay of my car. You can see how beautifully that light really lights up everything. And if you're wondering, right now it's on the high mode. It's at a thousand lumens right there. If I turn it down, let's say that's too bright for you. That's 500 lumens right there. And if you want to see what a difference it makes if you turn it off, here we go. That is no lighting right there at all. So that light makes a big improvement if you're trying to work in a garage. Even with surrounding lights, you see none of it gets under the hood. So this light makes it very, very convenient to work. There is your thousand lumens right there. Really lights up the engine bay very conveniently. Okay, so what if I wanted to use this as a handheld light instead of as an underhood work light? If instead of hanging it from the hood, what if I wanted to go handheld? Well, very easy, very convenient. You just grab it and go. Just grab it and point it any direction you want. If you need to have something pointed in a specific direction, point it wherever you need it to go, and that will light up everything for you anywhere you need it at all. And it's very slender and compact and fits right down between everything, and you can light up anything underneath it where it's hard to get into with some other lights. As you can see, it fits down in there without any trouble whatsoever. So very convenient multi-purpose light. Now one of the convenient things about this light is that it also brings a UV light. And a UV light can be very convenient when looking for leaks. Now I know under most circumstances somebody's going to comment that you need to have a dye to be able to use a UV light. That is true. If you want to have it easier to spot, that is true. But a lot of the chemicals that you use in automotive functions have a small amount of phosphorescent already in them. So you can look for leaks even without a dye if you want to do it very quickly just using the light. And also one thing to mention is that a lot of UV dye kits do not include the light. And some that do bring the light are much more expensive. So already having a very powerful UV light in your possession is very, very convenient if you have to look for a leak in the future because all you need to do is buy the dye in that case, which is much cheaper than having to buy a UV light. So having one on hand can save you a lot of money. But even without the dye, I'll show you in just a moment, I need to turn off the lights and you're going to see how things look very different when you look at it through UV light. So let me do that right now. All right, so we have all the lights turned off except a distant light over there so I don't stumble and fall all over the place. So let me switch this over to UV and look at how different things look under the engine bay. It lights up very different. All the labels and stuff become very bright and very easy to see. Everything becomes much more interesting to look at. And what I mentioned a moment ago, let me show you right here. This is the oil cap from the car and you can see right there how the oil has its own phosphorescence to it and you can spot oil leaks even without dye being in the oil. You can see how the oil shines in its own different way. And there's nothing wrong with it. There's no dye in that oil, but the oil has its own little bit of phosphorescent built into it. So just pulling off the oil cap, you can spot some of the phosphorescent in that thing. Let me pull out the dipstick and then you'll see even further. See the dipstick right there? See how the oil shines a heck of a lot more than just anything else. It has its own little bit of phosphorescence in it. And you can see the oil right there much more conveniently. So you're looking through the underside of your car. You can look for the oil and see the phosphorescence in it. See right there? See how it looks very different when you put the UV light right on it. You can see it's dripping all over my car. I got to clean that up in a minute. So the oil itself looks different when you put the UV light on it. And obviously the angle here is a little different for the camera, but in person it's much, much easier to see. So there you go. UV can be very convenient when diagnosing or looking for problems under the engine bay.
All right, guys, so what if you had a power outage, like uh, during a hurricane or something like that, and you had an emergency, you needed an extra light. This light works great for that. Or going up in your attic and having to do some work down there, or in a basement or something. Or if you're out ghost hunting sometime in a dilapidated old building. Well, let's see how much power this light can put out. Let me turn off the lights and let's check it out. All right, there you go, guys. That's a thousand lumens of light right there. Lights up the whole shop very nicely, very convenient. You can see the little stick light right there. Very convenient how well it lights up. And then we go, that's 500 lumens right there. So that shows you this light really lights up everything very nicely. If you're walking around in some dark area and you need some extra lighting, this light will really light up your path very conveniently. There you go. Very nice for emergencies or anything. Just pick this light up and keep on going. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of a very affordable and powerful multi-purpose LED light. I think this light has a lot of potential because it can be used in many different ways. It works great as a handheld utility light, and it also doubles as a powerful underhood work light. It has a powerful LED cob to light up your work area, and is completely cordless for added convenience. It also has a powerful UV light that is very convenient for leak detection or whatever you may need a UV light for. On top of that, it's also very affordable. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.